Waterfall charts are a great tool for you and your team to manage the accuracy of the various forecasts that you're going to develop. Yet, sadly, most people have never heard of a waterfall chart, but they're extremely powerful. And I'm going to show you how you can use them in today's video. Plus, you're going to want to stick around to the end of today's video because I'm going to give you a free tool that you can use to develop your own waterfall charts. Hi, I'm Brett Fox. And as I said, waterfall charts are extremely, extremely powerful. You'll want to use them internally. And if you have a board of directors, your board is going to love it when you provide waterfall charts to them, the various forecasts that you're providing to them to run your business. It gives them an easy and simple way to understand how well you're doing. So let's get started. Let's show you how to develop your own waterfall chart from scratch. Okay, we're inside of an Excel spreadsheet. Now, by the way, you could do this in a Google Sheet as well. It doesn't really matter what tool you use, but here is a waterfall chart for headcount, which would be your recruiting. Critical, critical thing for a startup. So you could do this, by the way, for just about anything. Let's think about the various areas of the company. Let's say you wanna look at your spending and you have a spending plan for the year. You wanna measure your spending plan for your waterfall chart is awesome for that. Uh, let's say we wanna look at how many new releases we're doing in a year, new software releases we're doing in a year. We have a plan for that. Again, waterfall charts are wonderful for it. Let's say we have a marketing plan for the year in terms of how many leads we're gonna generate by month. Waterfall chart to the rescue again for this. You get the idea. You can use waterfall charts that you want to that you want for just about anything. But in today's example, we're going to do headcount because it's nice, it's easy, it's simple, and every company has headcount. So we're going to do that as a simple way to do it. So now, let me first start off by showing you what we're looking at here. The basics of the chart, then we're going to fill in the chart and you'll see how this works. So first, you can see here this x-axis by month. And since we're sitting here in 2021, we have January, February, March, April, et cetera, all the way through to December of 2021. Then we have this budget line, this blue area here. What's that about? Well, what the budget area is about, this is your plan going into the year. So as we're starting January, here's our plan. We'll fill that in next. Then we have these gold boxes, which are flowing one by one by one, almost like, aha, uh -huh, get it, a waterfall. That's the name of the waterfall chart. These are your actuals by month. This is where we'll put the January actual. This is where we'll put February, March, April, all the way through to December. And then here, you can see here on these different rows, row six, seven, eight, the different monthly forecasts. So at the end of January, we're gonna update our forecast. At, at the end of February, we'll do the same. At the end of March, we'll do the same. Everything to the left, of the gold box, including the gold box, is actuals. Everything to the right is your forecast. You get the idea. Then down here, notice this. Now we're here sitting here at the end of February, early March. So we have our actuals already for January, actuals already for February right now. These are going to be shown here in aggregate. But here, if you want to give more information to your audience, you can. So in here, for this particular thing for headcount, we can show the various areas of the company. Operations, engineering, marketing, sales, GNA, and then a total. And this blue area, excuse me, this, this yellow area here, these are the actual numbers by area. This gives more information to your audience, typically a board of directors, what's going on. So let's take a look in actuality at how this works, okay? Let's go. So. Here's our plan for the year. This is a fairly early stage company, maybe, I don't know, six months, a year in or whatever. And here's their plan for 2021. So we're gonna start off adding one person. They started off the year with 20, they're gonna to go to 21. Then they believe they're gonna to go to 25 people in January. In March, stick at 25. In April, they're gonna add one person, get up to 26. Then May, they're gonna hold steady at 26. June, they're going to hold steady at 26. July, 29. August, they're going to add one more person, go to 30. September, hold flat at 30. October, add one person, 31, and hold. Head count, head, head count steady, I should say. Head count 
steady until the end of the calendar year. This was their plan. So now what happened in actuality? Well, in actuality, here's what happened. They actually added the one person in January, and then the rest of their plan, they kept the same. Okay, so we're just gonna fill in these numbers. So here, 29, 30, 30, 31, 31, and 31 again. That's their January plan. Now, let's go down here and fill in the actuals here, okay, by month. So the operations team, they had four people. Engineering, they added one person, so they got to 10. Marketing, they started off the year with three. Sales with two. G&A with two. You can see here, this number matches this number with 21. So now, what happens with the rest of these numbers, these January numbers for all these other months? Well, since we already know what January is, and these are actuals, right? We can now fill these in all the way down. Now I could use the fill, uh, the fill command if I want as well, uh, but I did it this way, nice, simple, and easy. Okay, so 21 people, that's January, all the way for the rest of the year. Now what happens in February? Well, they were ambitious, right? They wanted to add four people from a base of 21. They only added two. The company only added two people, so 23 people for February. Now what about the rest of the year plan? Well, the CEO believes they're still on track for the rest of the year, so they hold this steady, you can see you're just going to fill in these same numbers again. There we go. Okay, now because we know the number is 23, the actuals, we're going to fill this in for the rest of the year 23, 23, 21, 21, 21, and 21. Okay, now what happens in March? Okay, now let's also fill in these numbers. Okay, since they added two more people here, okay. So where did they add the people? Well, they added, held this flat. They added one person, one more person in engineering, so they're up to 11. Marketing, they added one person, so they're at four. Sales held at two. GNA, two more. Okay, March. Let's take a look at March. So the March plan was 25 people, right? But they didn't get there again. They got to 24. Now, I'm gonna show you something interesting that now you can show with this, 24. So this is the 24 is the actual, so we'll fill this in. And then here, they believe their plan is gonna hold steady again. So they're still at 26 here, 26, 26, 29, 30, 30, 31, 31, 31, okay. So now, what happens with the rest of this? Okay, so what happens here, because now they added one person, but here's what's interesting is they added one engineering person, but uh-oh, in operations, they lost a person. They weren't expecting to lose anybody in operations, but they added the person in engineering, held flat in the other organizations, thus the miss, right, to their hiring plan of what they wanted to have happen. So they only added this one person, um, and they added, see so they added two people, excuse me, two people in engineering. So they were supposed to be, they should have been here, but they're not. So you can kind of see what happened in this particular case. Okay, so that gets us to March. We can kind of see what's going on in March. So the beauty of having this extra information down here is that you can see more of what's going on. So we would fill this in with yellow, we would change this to actual, you get the idea. So now let's go through the rest of the year. So um, here we are in April. Now what's interesting is going into April, the company is doing really well. So they've decided at the board's urging to add more people to the company. So now suddenly instead of the plan of 31 for headcount, they've gone up to a plan of 35. So they think in April they're gonna be able, they're not gonna really be able to change anything in April. So they're gonna get to the 26 in April, but the May plan, they think they're gonna add three people in May, so they're gonna get to 29. Then they're gonna be at 31 in June, uh, let's say 32 in July, hold steady in August because it's the summer, get to 33, then 34 in October, then 35 in November and 35 in December. You get the idea. So now suddenly, then you would reflect this also as you came down here because they're gonna be adding people. So they added two people, so they fixed their operations problem. Engineering added uh, one person, 
Marketing held steady. They added one salesperson and they kept GNA steady. And uh, here they are. So what happened? Oops. Let's say they kept the sales steady. Okay, there you go. So 26 people. They're at plan. So here's their plan. They're at the plan. Um, and now we would fill this in, the 26 people, all the way down, just like we've done here, 26, 26, 26, and 26. You get the idea. So now, here we are in May. So they're increasing their hiring plan. They think they can get there. They fall a little short. They get to 28. But they're going to keep the June plan at 31. They think they can get there 32, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 35. So this is classic of what happens inside of a company, right? You change your plans, things change a little bit. Um, they hold steady here in operations. They add one person in engineering. They need to add one more marketing person. They hold sales steady and GNA steady because they're at 28. Okay, very cool. So now what happens here? Now, um, because they're at 28, we're gonna fill this down. 28, let's do 28 here. And you can also use this wonderful autofill function that Excel has and fill it down like this. Nice, simple, and easy. So now here we are in June. So June happens, they add two people. Again, below plan. Interesting, they're consistently below plan. 32, they're gonna hold this at 32, 33, 34, 35, and 35. So what happened in June? Uh-oh, operations yet again is having problems. Interesting, huh? So they keep adding people. They wanted to add three people, which they added three, but they lost one. So they added two people in engineering, kept marketing flat, added a person in sales, and kept GNA flat, and there they are at 30 people. So now here we are in July. And let's, let's fill this in again. You can see how this goes here. As the year goes on, more of this information gets known. Here we are. So now, here we are in July. So what's the new plan you know, for July gonna be? What happened in July? So they actually, they hit plan. So they're at 32 here. So we'll put this at 32 all the way down. And then 32, they're gonna keep their plan in August at 32. 33, 34, 35, and 35. Okay, so what happened? Okay, so let's see what happens here. So they added two people, so um, they were able to add back an operations person here. So they're back at that number that they expected to be. They added one engineering person that gets them to 18. They held everything else flat, five, three, and two. So now they're back to 32. So now here we are in August. What happens in August? Well, operations is good. Uh-oh, an engineer quits. Classic thing that happens. People leave companies. Now they're off plan again. Marketing is flat. Sales is flat, GNA is flat. Um, so here the CEO fills in 31, and he's getting a little bit nervous at this point, saying, you know what, I don't know that we're gonna get to plan. So he lowers his plan for the year. Whatever his reasons are, he lowered the plan. He says, okay, you know what, we're gonna be off by one for the year. So we're gonna drop our plan to 34, so plans can go up, plans can go down. Classic, especially with forecasting, this happens all the time. So let's fill the rest of this in, 31, 31, 31, and 31, you get the idea. So now here we are in July, excuse me, in September. So September happens and they're able to add one person. They add back that engineering person that they wanted to add back. So now they're back to 32, 32, 32, 32, across here. And then this is just 33, 34, and 34. So let's take a look here. So this is kept operations flat. Engineering is back to their number of 18, five, three, and two. So now let's get to October. What happens in October? They wanted to add two people. Oh man, they missed their plan again. They added one person. They're below plan. What happened? So 33, 33. Well, guess what? They had yet another problem in operations. Uh, engineering was able to add two people. So they're, back, they're up to 20 people. Marketing is at five. Sales is at three. And GNA is at added two more. So now let's fix that, 33 people. So there we go. So now we're into the last two months. Okay, now what happens in October? Well, 
they were able to hire more people than they expected. They fixed their operations problem, and surprisingly enough, they weren't expecting to hire anybody else, but a great person became available and they added them. So now they're up to 35 people. Okay, this is, well actually, I'm sorry, this should be 34 and 34. Now they're up to 35 people, I'm sorry. So here we go, so they added two more people here, 35, they're gonna hold their plan at 35. This goes down to 35. Let's take a look at what happens here, operations. They added one person back in operations. They added an excellent engineer. They weren't expecting to add marketing, sales, GNA a little flat. And then at the end of the year, nothing changes. So, so powerful to do this. Such an easy way. Think about how easy it is for your audience to understand what's going on inside of your company. So if you're presenting to a board of directors, uh, if your team is presenting to you, their various forecasts for what they're doing, make them use waterfall charts and you should use them with your board. And then for the various areas of the company, when they're presenting, they should use them to present their updates as well this way. It's so powerful. You can do this for headcount, as I said, you can do it for various financial information like revenue for your costs, uh, your lead generation. Uh, so easy because now it you can show the ups, you can show the downs of what's happening. And there you go. So it's very, very cool what happens with these, with these. So this is the great thing about this. Now I said I was gonna give you a free tool and I meant it. Uh, I will give you this template for free. All you have to do is just click on the link below today's video and it's yours. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you like this, uh, this type of format. Uh, if you like it, please let me know. Uh, really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Uh, take care. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Bye.